and Bari are making their European debut and hoping to succeed where both Bangor City and Inter Cardiff failed on Tuesday. Their opponents, however, are in a known quantity, the Lithuanian side, Zelgiris Vilnius. Well, last season, Barry Town enjoyed huge success. Whatever Barry were involved in, they usually won. In their first season back in the Welsh pyramid system, they crowned the whole lot by causing a huge upset in the Albright Bitter Welsh Cup final when they defeated the favourites Cardiff City. Barry have many experienced campaigners in their side, all with English league experience, but they'll have to lift their game once more tonight in this Cup Winners' Cup preliminary round. A Barry Town then against Zalgiris Vilnius, the first leg, the commentator is Graham Lloyd. For their first taste of European football, Barry have reshaped the team which lifted the Welsh Cup back in May. Andy Beatty, Paul Wimbledon and Keith Birchin have left Jenna Park, with Paul Giles and Andy Ellis joining from Inter Cardiff, and the Wright brothers flying in from the Midlands, but only Everon is playing tonight. There's a new man at the helm in the shape of Terry Boyle. He's replaced Andy Beatty as player coach and has European experience with Cardiff City. He should have no no problem reacquainting himself with Ninian Park. One other man who's played in Europe is David Doria, five years ago with Swansea City against Panathinaikos, also in the Cup Winners' Cup. He's been on trial with Lincoln City recently. He'll be an important part of the Barry midfield tonight. Zalgiris is Lithuanian for Greenwood, and their manager has wielded the axe after Saturday's 5-2 defeat by Romar in the Lithuanian First Division. Names to watch out for are Bautus Nikas, the Vilnius playmaker, and their little and large strike force, Hoderis and Jan Kauskas. Roy Helger Olsen from Norway. So it's Maurice Scott and Evren Wright who kick off this European adventure for Barry Town. Not playing at Jenner Park tonight, but here at Cardiff City's home ground, Ninian Park. Expecting perhaps a larger crowd than has actually arrived here at the moment. Probably not more than a thousand people here in Ninian Park. Down to Richard Jones. Williams. Doria. Doria finding Williams. And miscued by Williams. Phil Williams, the former Swansea City player, having a chance on goal there. Was the ball played back by Doria and he really didn't get hold of that at all. Ellis inside. This is Jones seeing quite a lot of the ball in the first couple of minutes. Doria as expected. Giles. Good header by Giles. Chance for Scott and the clearance by Novikovas. Jones. Nice turn. Escapes his marker. Griffiths. Barry certainly not overawed. Scott. Trying to get the ball down to Paul Giles. Suspicion there of handball in the area. It's a lovely ball. This looks very dangerous for Barry. Penalty, play on, says the referee. Matthew Levicious was through. The referee has pointed to him and said, you took a bit of a dive. The long ball through. Matthew Levicious, perhaps he took it a shade too far, but he was certainly taken down there by Glenn Livingston. Kulauskas. Down to Poderis, back to Shulauskas. Does well. Can he get the cross in? And the Ellis having to work hard in defence. Twelve minutes gone. Nil-nil here at Minion Park. Right footed. Aiming for the penalty spot. Not taken by Livingston and cleared off the line by Doria. Kulauskas, header by number nine, Fekchayatis. Corner 
Livingston seemed to come quite confidently for it, but when he arrived there, the ball wasn't in his hands. Kicked off the line by Doria. Janikowskis with the challenge. Barry keen to get on with it. Organising the wall. It's only a two-man wall. Giles with the kick. Scott Ellis and Boyle. There's Boyle! Frick ball! Good effort there by Terry Boyle. Nicely flighted free kick by Giles, who's away again. Keeps it in well. Wins himself a corner, no goal kick. Giles not too happy with that decision. The free kick, beautifully flighted in. The header from Boyle, just wider the mark. Didn't quite connect properly. Pachula Vicious not being free. Shapes free. And Giles again. You get a feeling something might come from all this ball that Paul Giles is seeing this evening. Right. Not a bad effort there by Everett Wright. He applauds the little chip in by Ellis. Ellis finding Wright. Good effort. Scott in a bit of a tassel. Yes, the referee. No doubt about that. The foul from Tereshkinas. Jones taking quickly to Williams. He's got a very good left foot on him. There he goes. Good effort by Phil Williams. And that gives Barry their first corner of the night. Made space for himself. Let go with his left foot. And not a bad save by Spetila. The closest Barry have come to a goal. Paul Giles. Boyle on the near post. Still with a chance. On the corner, Andy Ellis. So two corners in succession. Giles, right foot to the far post. Boyle again getting up. Davis. The shot of the defender. Cleared by Jankowskis. But this is Ellis. And a little bit too optimistic there by Andy Ellis. But certainly a good spell from Barry. Stonkos to Baltusnikas. Giles. He's starting to tire, surely Giles. He's seeing so much of the ball. This is Doria on a lovely run. Jones inside him. Doria goes alone. Chance for Scott. Fine run by Doria. Decided to have a pot himself. And the ball, to be fair to Morris Scott, just came to him. Did the right thing. Unlucky. Stonkos. Beautiful ball through. And fine save by Livingston. Well, he's really picked himself up. The ball through to Jankowskis. But Glenn Livingstone was there for Barry. Scott, surely foul. No, the referee says play on. Giles. Unlucky. Shulauskas. And with lots of space here now, Zalgiris. Nine is Frecciatis. This is looking dangerous for Barry. Fine challenge again. This time by Davis. Offside. Baltushnikas just playing in front of the back three, wearing four for Zalgiris. Deep flick on, but Griffiths there. Again, timely interception. And Doria 
Somebody needs to come to him. There goes Wright. That is Jones now to Ellis. Wright without a chance there. Novikovas. And there's a, an ocean of space here for Poderis. And again, another fine challenge. They seem quite capable of dealing with everything that Zalgiris can throw at them, Barry. Gloria. Wright drags himself wide. Scott down the middle. Nice one, too. Doria. Good effort. Spatila gets himself in the right place. Wasn't the best of final shots. Lovely little layoff there by Morris Scott. Right into Doria's path. He probably had a little more time than he thought. Nice try, though. Kinas again with the clearance, right. Now who's gone to help him? Four players from Zalgiris went to help him, but not one Barry. Boyle. Back to Williams and Davis. Hoderis closing him down well. Hoderis. This does look dangerous. Wide. Machula Vicious. Could be a goal. Fine save by Livingston. Peck Shayartis was the man who had the final shot. The ball worked wide to Peck Shayartis. Made himself that little bit of space. Not the most confident of shots, but nice save. Griffith. Doria. Good one, too. Griffiths. Now, who's in the middle? There's Wright. There's Scott. There's Doria! well may he look a little disappointed that was a terrific cross from Ashley Griffiths and a lovely flying header but five feet wide so Carvelis is being replaced by Venchevicius in front of him Ash who's on the straight this is the substitute and Chivicious. Fine punch by Livingston. If in doubt, punch it out. That was the right policy. It's a useful looking cross, but again, Glenn Livingston growing in confidence as this tie continues. Half an hour gone, nil nil the score. Poderis. Nicely down to Plexiatis. Now, what can he do this time? It's a lovely cross, and that must be a goal. He's missed it. Machu Levicious, the best chance of the night. Livingston was helpless. The cross came in from Plexiatis. It fell perfectly for Machu Levicious, and he put it wide. Not much you can say about this. This had goal written all over it. Didn't really get a very good contact at all. Another chance for Ventravicious. And Boyle with the clearing header. Griffiths with the clearing kick. Except it hasn't it's been picked up. Bautushnikas. Challenged by Davis. Isn't good enough. He's through. Great goal. Oh! And again. Poderis, he can't believe it. For a while, he... Doria finds Wright. Wright. Up against Novikovas. Wins himself a corner. Poderis should really have scored here. The ball comes through to him, turns nicely, makes the space, and then fine save and the clearance by Williams. This is their substitute. Then lovely looking ball, Poderis, and cleared off the line by Boyle. 
Terry Boyle not very happy there about the marking. Poderis able to get through again. His second good chance of the night took it round Livingston. And well cleared Terry Boyle. Giles trying to clear. Chulauskas. Fine challenge by Mark Davis. That's good defending. Giles wins a throw. And this is bad news for Barrytown. Skipper Mark Davis might have to go off on a stretcher. It was the challenge by Mark Davis. Very important one. Played on. No World Cup stretchers here at Indian Park. St John's Ambulance doing the job as usual. So what will Barry do? Will they bring on somebody just to see out the half or stick with ten men? Williams to Jones. A cracking ball to Ellis. We're now into injury time. Scott. Doria. Good effort by Doria. The shot not quite matching the approach play. Knocked down by Morris Scott. Beautiful turn there by Doria. And that challenge just put him off. Well played Williams. And Mitchell. Throw in to Barry. Barry need to pick up the pace. They're the ones who need to score. As Algiris will be happy with the draw. This is Doria. Patushinikas with the challenge. Chula Vicious. Teresh Kinas. And well played Richard Jones. Doria to Jones. He's managed to steer clear. Fine play. Giles. Ellis on a run, perhaps. Giles to Griffiths. That's a nice ball. Ellis. Made space. Lovely cross. Mitchell. The header, though, was from Scott. Mitchell was hovering. Scott got the header in. But according to the referee, he fouled his defender, he fouled his marker. Great play by Ellis. Lovely teasing cross. <laughs> Up goes Scott. But fouling Tereshkinas in the process. Kulauskas. Jan Kauskas. Strong boy, 19 years old. Substitute. Benchavicius. This looks very promising. This could be the first goal. Another great save by Glenn Livingston. He came out at just the right moment. Took it well. Fine save. It was the run by Machu Levicius. Glenn Livingston really earning his money tonight. Benchevichas with the corner. Ellis clearing. Doria fouled. Tereshkinas with the foul on Doria. Flicking on to Scott. That was unlucky because Scott would have been clear there. Jan Kauskas. Phil Williams doing well to hold him up. And then dropping back to tidy up. Boyle. It's a nice ball out by Boyle. This is Ellis with a little bit of room. He's got Mitchell inside. That's a great ball to Mitchell. Ian Mitchell, can he square the ball to Giles or to Scott? He's lost control. Doria. 
foul by Mitchell, probably caused by frustration. Ian Mitchell was through there. He just lost control at the crucial time. There it is. And in his frustration, there's the foul. Barry Bench. Alan Curtis not going to get on because Barry have used their two substitutes already. Teresh Kinas. Kuderis losing out. Scott nicely down to Doria. This looks promising. Giles. Jones. Doria. Didn't realise that. And he's been. And this is dangerous because I think Doria has been booked already. And if he gets another yellow card, he's going to be off. And there he goes. Nearly 20 minutes of the second half gone, and Barry's dream of reaching the first round has been seriously dented. Here comes the challenge. He turned the wrong way, did Doria. He didn't realise there was a man there. He tried to get back at Coderis, fouled him, no doubt about that. Roy Helga Olsen from Norway had no doubt about that. He had no... And David Doria is off. So are we going to see Zalgiris come out of their shell a little now with the extra man? Can they make it count? Jankowskis, a great opportunity for them to go back to Lithuania with a victory under their belts. Benjavicio. Now to Levicius. Another good build-up. Machu Levicius, first time shot. Well saved. Probably enjoying their night more than the Barry Novikovas through to Machu Levicius. He finds space for a shot. Get up, get up! Jankowskis. Can he get past Williams? Yes, he can. If he can get the cross in. Made it clear by Garfield Leesk. Building and building. And the final shot. Really not up to scratch, but they certainly know how to build up well. Duzel Gear. The ball through by Novik Kovas. Wide of the mark. Jankowskis winning the ball and Tereskinas taking it on. Mitchell with the foot in. Williams, Ellis. Good turn inside by Ellis. You can see Giles. Shot by Ellis. Well, that's the best chance of the second half for Barry. Andy Ellis turning inside, looking up, taking aim, and too near the keeper, but a good effort. Ellis providing only light relief because Zalgiris are back on the attack. 11 men against 10. Surely a goal is on its way. Mitchell with the clearance. Kukowskas. Fine save again by Livingston. The man given another chance to fire on goal. Livingston's holding everything tonight. Beautiful flick on there. Benchevichas to pass to Poderis, not good enough. Well recovered by Poderis. This must be a goal. It is the substitute. Benchevichas and poor old Glenn Livingston. He's done so well tonight to keep the Lithuanians at bay. 
but eventually in the 77th minute and the visiting supporters they're happy Poderis Williams losing his footing the ball brought back and Benchevicius cracking goal 1-0 to Zalgiris very good covering by Phil Williams but he lost control of the ball and then lost his footing suspicion of handball there but the referee didn't pick it up laid back for Benchevicius Benchevicius the scorer Altushnikas. The substitute Rimkus. Second goal, surely well blocked by Lisk. Mitchell to Williams. Again, Zalgira showing that in terms of a build up, they are the better team. But when it comes to the final shot, they haven't made the most of their opportunities. This is Richard Jones. He's had a good game tonight, right at the heart of the barrier defence. Mitchell being fouled. Play on, says the referee. Good decision. Mitchell wide to Griffiths. Now, one last throw of the dice for Barry. Griffiths aiming long for Morris Scott. David Doria, not a happy man, having been sent off in the second half. And Williams. What has he got with him? Giles. Good run by Phil Williams. Lovely cross. There goes Scott. And that's it, the final whistle. So Barry's European dream, if not in tatters, then certainly badly damaged. A 77th minute goal from Benchevicius has given Zalgiris an invaluable first leg lead. Barry have it all to do in a fortnight's time. A brave performance. The final score, Barry Town nil, Zalgiris Vilnius one. Terry Boyle, how have the players reacted in the dressing room to, to that performance uh, and the result? Um, to be honest, very disappointed. Um, a little bit unfortunate the second half. I didn't see the, the second bookable incident, but uh, with Daidori getting sent off, I think... Uh, you know, we, we battled well enough up, up until then, and a little bit unfortunate to give the goal away, I felt. But uh, overall, you know, disappointed with the result. I, I felt that we could have had a nil-nil. I mean, what, what has David Doria said? Anything about the sending off himself? Uh, no, not really. Uh, as I said, uh, the first one is a little bit uh, over-ambitious, I think, to win the ball. But I didn't see the second one, but, uh, you know, Dai is very apologetic, and uh, he feels sorry for what happened. Like. Once he had been sent off, what were the instructions then? Was it simply to hold out? Um, well, I, I think when you add down to 10 men, you, you've got to. Uh, we had no substitutes on. Uh, so he was just containing them. And I felt that, you know, we'd done that job pretty well. But saying that, a um, little bit of a defensive lapse. And instead of us clearing the ball, we tried to hold on to it and play it a bit. Got dispossessed, and uh, the lad struck it well. Particularly disappointed about the way you did concede the goal? Yes, you know, as I said, we were down to 10 men then, and, uh, you know, we were battling well enough. Um, as I said, I thought it was going to be a cast iron, cast iron nil nil. What was the feeling going into the game? I mean, were you pretty confident of getting the uh, the advantage for the, the um, way In a sense, you do because you're home. Um, but we're saying that um, we had a video of them. Uh, I don't think it was the same team we played against tonight. Uh, I'd like to know who sent that to us. <laughs> but um, I think the second leg, now we know what to expect. And uh, we get our game plan in order, and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll give another good account of ourselves. What would you like to see, dude? that uh, Barry would do differently in the second leg? Um, nothing uh, differently as such. Uh, it's just that it took us 45 minutes to adjust to them this evening. We gave them a little bit too much respect uh, in the system that they played, and they played around us. But our second half, I felt we contained it a little bit better. We dropped an extra man into midfield. And uh, we seem to handle it a lot better. So hopefully when we go away now, um, of course, we'd adopt that same system. So a disappointing end to the week for all three clubs involved in European football, all being beaten at home. But in European football, it's only half-time. From us all at Ninian Park, good night. <laughs>